What's up guys, it's Nicholas, and today it's a video I really, really wish I didn't have to make. As you can tell by the title, net neutrality got repealed. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because, I guess the reason I thought about it was, I told my wife, net neutrality got repealed. She had literally not a clue what that meant. I, there are very few things that I can remember having such a strong reaction to when I read them or when I saw them. Uh, but when I looked up the net neutrality vote results and I saw that net neutrality had gotten repealed, I was speechless. Like Amber was literally like, why are you so upset? I just, I instantly was pissy. She's like, what's wrong? And I was like, this, and I explained it to her. So I thought I'd make a video instead of what I was going to make, because I didn't even know if I was gonna make a video for tomorrow because cause today's Thursday that I'm recording this, because I have been sick, I am losing my voice, but I feel so strongly about net neutrality and the fact that it got repealed really worries me and worries me that where we are going. The net neutrality we know today was actually put in place in 2015 uh, to basically, Title II was to make the internet as a utility basically as phone lines are and stuff like that so that the FCC could govern and control the ISPs so they couldn't do unjust things like give fast lanes to people who pay more and throttle certain connections like Netflix and Hulu and YouTube and <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of you have seen around lately that people are saying now that with net neutrality being repealed, what they believe is going to happen is basically ISPs are going to start saying, oh, you can't access YouTube unless you pay so much extra on top of your bill, or this package includes Hulu and Netflix. I don't, I, I guess I don't know how to put this. I hope none of that happens. I hope that we're wrong, and I hope we're overreacting, and I hope that we are just seeing this from our perspective and seeing it the way we want to see it but the way that they're making it sound while they're talking about it it's like they they don't see how the internet is they, they're acting like it's broken and they're trying to fix it and that's what worries me the internet is not broken the internet has worked fine since 2015 what they're claiming is the internet was working fine before 2015 Yes, but we had people paying for fast lanes. We had people getting, we had services getting throttled. And actually, we had the FCC rule that Verizon couldn't throttle certain services. And then Verizon actually sued the FCC for saying that they couldn't throttle it. And that's actually what put the whole Title II movement into effect, was the fact that Verizon actually sued the FCC for ruling against them and they won. Verizon won. So Title II was put into place so that the FCC did have legal, legal, yeah, legal, legal action over the ISPs, over the internet service providers, over Verizon, over, so that they didn't have to worry about that fallout. They didn't have to worry about being sued over trying to keep the law the way it is. Now, I know you're thinking, I know there's people out there who are like, I don't even live in the US. What does it matter? If you haven't had it explained to you yet about why this matters for you, there are some, and don't get me wrong, there are some countries out there already that pretty much the way that we're afraid the internet is gonna turn out for us, it already is that way. And I am sorry, I'm sorry that it is, it is that way for you. But there are other countries, there are people in Canada who understand that if, if it starts to go that way for the US, it might go that way for Canada. It might go that way for, it, it doesn't just stop at the US. There are countries that look at the US for certain laws that are passed of, hey, you know what? That's not a bad idea. You know what? The big guy is doing it. Why don't we do it? I'm not saying that every country is like that. I'm just saying there are countries out there that see what the US is doing, good or bad, and they follow suit. And I don't want that for anybody. I wouldn't work I wouldn't wish what we're fearing to happen to even my worst enemy. Because the net as we know it, the internet is a free place. I mean, obviously there are limits, but the internet is the way we want it. The internet is a place to be able to express yourself with, you pay, 
your your internet fee, whatever it be. Yes, I know there's different prices, but what I'm saying is, is that, and I'm lucky, I'm very lucky. Charter in my area has been amazing. They're claiming that they're, they're repealing net neutrality because they think that this will give ISPs the ability to innovate and make things better. I, I, I would love to, in a year, be like, oh my god, I am so glad net neutrality got repealed. I hope we're wrong. I do. That being said, I hope we don't have to find out that. I hope that we don't have to find out if net neutrality being repealed is the right thing. Because there are states standing up to it right now. There are states that are actually saying, we do not agree with this. I have already called my representative. I've already given my peace of mind and i guess that's how i can sleep at night at the moment is knowing that i have done everything that i can i have done everything that is in my power i've written the email i've called i've left the voicemail i've talked to him and said hey this is how i feel and i doubt that he sits there and listens and he might he might sit there and listen to every single voicemail but even if he doesn't being able to see the number of people that are saying, hey, we don't agree with this. Hey, we don't agree with this. Hey, we don't agree with this. If you if you live in the United States and you haven't already called your representative, please, please do. Call your state representative, please. We need to either A, make it so that this repeal never happened, or B, I guess, get in the fetal position and hope for the best and Hope that, like I said, in a year from now, we're not sitting here going, holy shit. I wish we had done more. I wish that I wish that I had called my congressman. I wish that I had gotten up in arms. And like I said, maybe we're overreacting. We are people on the internet. We overreact sometimes. I hate to say it, but I have this really bad feeling that this isn't one of those things that we're, over, we're overreacting about. I have a feeling that this is something that we are going to end up seeing the worst of. And I, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. But if you guys have not already done it, please do whatever you can. Like I said, emails, voicemails, whatever you can do. Raise awareness about net neutrality. It's already too late for the first vote. And honestly, the saddest part is even with all the support we got, I know, I know. I even talked to coworkers that had no idea about it and gave them the number and said, call. They said, if you want to keep using Facebook like you are, if you want to keep using YouTube like you are, call. I don't think, I don't think anything we could have done would have made a difference. But there can be legal action taken that makes it so that they can't just do that. And that's what needs to happen at this point. Or like I said, we just hope for the best, which... It's not a good option. I know this has kind of been a weird video. I know I seem super emotional. This is something that I feel super strongly about as being someone that creates content on the internet, as someone who consumes all my content on the internet. I don't even have cable, guys. I chose Netflix and Hulu over actually having like cable and all that other stuff just because that's the content I like. So I do feel very strongly about this. If you don't feel very strongly about it, you probably don't know how much it will affect you if everything goes the way we think it is. So just, yeah. Even if you don't wanna go read up on it, just trust me, please. If you guys like the video, leave it a like. Or if you support net neutrality, leave it a like. If you dislike net neutrality, leave it a dislike. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Tell your friends, family, and crazy neighbors about the channel and about net neutrality. Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon down in the description. If you like the content we make and you want to see us make more and better content, become a patron. Even at the $1 tier, it pays for gear for the channel and tech for tech reviews like CPUs and keyboards and mice and all that other good stuff that we like to do reviews on. So thank you all of our patrons. You guys are awesome. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.